Hey everyone, everyone. Welcome, welcome back, back to, to Five Minute Eats, and today we have got a first review of a new brand, and I'm sure we're gonna try more from this brand, but I'm very excited about this one because this just caught my eye whenever I was perusing the frozen food aisle at Target. This is the Home Bake 425 degrees, 30 minutes, creamy tomato Tuscan style pasta. Al dente pasta enrobed in a lusciously creamy rosa sauce seasoned with basil, roasted garlic, and ripe tomatoes. Topped with gooey part skim mozzarella cheese and grated Parmesan cheese, this is a side dish, and it says mains, veggies, and sides all cooked together in 30 minutes. We created Home Bake to help you make family happen. Now you can spend more time with the ones you love and less time cooking. So basically their whole gimmick. I just wanna add, what? hearing you say all that, yeah. that sounded like poetry. They did a really good right? job of selling you on the front. Yes, everything that you need. All of the instructions and everything is right on the front, which is awesome. This and is- Easily digestible way. Yes. When you look at it visually, some sometimes these packaging is very complicated. Yes. And it's a turnoff. With this one, what you're seeing, you can easily absorb it. Yes, exactly. And all of their packaging is very, very eye-catching. It looks super premium. This is a 20.6 ounce tray of it for $7.99. And you know, it's a little on the pricey side, but it says it's three servings and we gotta keep in mind also, this is a side dish, not a main dish. So you're meant to have it like, you know, a little bit rather than having the whole thing. Or if you're a hungry guy, it's your main dish. That's true and too. And all of it's gonna go one, one sitting. <laughs> That's true too. Now, the thing is, this is from Kraft Heinz. And whenever I first saw it, I thought that maybe it was a Target brand and then I turned it over and I was like, oh wow. And now since seeing it in Target, I've seen it like a bunch of other places. So they're really taking over, man. And guys, if you're new to our channel, basically we were every every day grocery items. So before you spend your hard earned money, let us tell you if it's worth it. Now visually it looks like there's a lot going on here. Yes. It does, it's got a lot of seasonings on top. I would say it matches the packaging. It does, and here's what I wanna say. I would like to note that even in its frozen state, it was like they combined the sauce with the noodles, stirred it all up, and then put it into the tray. So every noodle was coated in the sauce. Whereas a lot of times you see these like frozen pasta dish type things, the dry like noodles are in there and then they just plop some sauce on top. Whereas all of these were coated in it. So I really appreciate that extra step. Let's get into it. If you'd like to support this channel, the easiest way to do that is using our Amazon links the next time you shop there. All right guys, welcome back our rating system. Thumbs up right again, thumbs down, we not. So for me, this is a thumbs down. This was a, um, there was a lot of hype to it. But unfortunately, I just think this is a very mediocre product. I think the issue is it's too dry. Mm. I was expecting this to be very creamy. It's not. The other issue is there's um I think it's the basil or something like that. Mm -hmm. It's um it's a little too strong. I'm not like into something being this spicy. Mm. Not like hot spicy, but just with a lot of spices. Um, because that's what I smell and I'm like, I can just smell it right now in my mouth. And it also gives an, a tingling in my mouth, which I don't like. Hmm. I just think um, this dry, it's got some spices on it. It's got some cheese on it. Is it anything spectacular? Thumbs down. If you like what we're doing here, please consider sending a super thanks. It helps us continue to provide more amazing content. Um. For me, this one is going to be a thumbs down. I'm really torn on it and I just kind of like, that's my knee jerk reaction whenever I like have to choose. I like this. I think that it's not quite there though. It needs more of the sauce. I think it definitely helped that all of the pasta was coated in the sauce before they froze it because you could taste sauce in each bite, but there wasn't enough sauce. Like it needed to be like all tossed in the sauce, but then also more sauce put on top before they like froze everything together. 
I like the flavors. You can really taste the tomato. You can taste yeah, the agree. cheesiness, especially the parts where you have a bite where they're like the top melty cheese is like in that bite. It's very cheesy. It was heavily like spiced or seasoned with the herbs and stuff, which I didn't mind. I actually liked that. It gave it a kind of rustic kind of flavor, I guess, uh, a, a Tuscan flavor, if you will, but. It made me feel like I was eating um, something from Thailand or Vietnam. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. That's interesting. I didn't really get that part, but it definitely is. It's a lot of seasoning. I, this would be 100% a thumbs up if it came with more sauce. I think it's good enough for having it the one time. Like I don't regret buying this, that's the thing. And I could definitely finish what we have of it and be, fine with that, but to buy it again, it would have to have more sauce. I did really like the pasta noodles that they put in here though, cause I'm not sure what like kind of noodle it is, but it's almost like a spiral frilly kind of thing, which is nice. Cause I do feel like it held a lot of the, the sauce. There just needs to be more of it. Yeah, I feel like this was a jazzed up mac and cheese. Yeah, kind of, you know, but I like mac and cheese. Yeah, and I don't. So to sum it up, thumbs down, thumbs down. And if you guys buy from Amazon, use our Amazon link. The reason is when you do that, we get 10 cents, 50 cents, possibly even a dollar, which means we can continue to review things. All right, guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, Food Prep Inc. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.